Okay, I know I already have a mom me um, video on my channel, but I was really craving it again, and um, this is what I wanted to eat. Mm. I also had pad thai again today from the same place from Bangkok. I don't know why I haven't been craving anything new, like no new variety, but <sighs> I'm not, not that I don't care about you guys, but I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat, and that's initially why I made this channel, or this Instagram to post and record what I was going to eat and so I'm sorry but I'm eating another Vietnamese sandwich except this time I made it on my own okay first bite oh no I already feel like okay there's a chicken I hate when you take the first bite and you get nothing good so I have a jalapeno I have a chicken the pickled stuff and cilantro in the first bite That's my brother screaming on Fortnite again. I think I cut myself because it's burning. Something's burning my finger right now. Oh my god. I have crumbs in my hair. Okay. Story time, guys. Mm. This is a subject I've been wanting to address. Actually, this might be like a get to know me. So, for those who know me, especially in the last five years, know that I was with. My ex boyfriend Ryan.
<clears throat> Sorry, it's just so good. Okay. So, we worked together for four years. We broke up right after our fourth year. Um, we had a good time, but in the last year or so, he was going through some things. Nothing that involved me. Um, and he just felt the need to go out somewhere a lot more. And when I say going out, I just mean like he's hanging out with his family. And I didn't, I was never mad at him hanging out with his family. But he would hang out till like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and that was frequent. It happened every weekend, and that was the problem about him coming home late every day. Not every day, every weekend. Every Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, he'd come home early sometimes because, of course, he had work the next morning. So anyways, um, we never really argued. It was just if we argued, it was about that, about him promising that he'd come home early. You know, like, he would spend all his time with his cousins and his uncles, and he wouldn't really spend time with me. And so after a year, I was, after a year of going through that, I was really unhappy. And um, there was one point where one day he didn't come home for two days and he didn't even call or text me to tell me that he wasn't going to come home. And I understand this is a, around the time that his cousin passed away. And so he was just, you know, out of it. But that was kind of the last straw for me. So fast forward, um, 2018, I promised myself that I was going to do me and take the whole year to do whatever I wanted to do because um, throughout the whole relationship I never really went out because he wasn't controlling but if I did go out he would kind of like give me shit about it like he would just say like little things like oh you, oh, you want to be a hoe and and seriously for the four years I was so committed to him like I was so in love with him and there was like you he he said that but he really didn't mean it because he knew like deep down I wouldn't you know I wouldn't cheat on him and uh, yeah, so the next year, 2018, I decided that I was going to do whatever I wanted. And I was really heartbroken that we broke up because, you know, who would want to break up after four years? And um, so I went drinking a lot. I went drinking, like, really heavily almost every almost every day. I was unemployed at the time. And um, this was during winter break uh, right after semester. The, the Is it spring semester or fall semester ends? Yeah, fall semester ends. And then so you have that winter break. And so that was, it was during that time I was drinking like every single day and uh, that lasted until literally a, almost a whole year. I stopped, I stopped feeling like, well, I'll take that back. I stopped drinking heavily after a month or so. Um, but then I started dating because I, I, for me, it was crazy that I, I curved every nigga for the wrong nigga like that type of thing like I used to work the bowling alley and guys used to ask for my number and I would literally like I was engaged to Ryan and I would literally be like no like I'm engaged and you know like no you can't have my number in a nice way like I would turn them down really like really really gentle uh, really softly like I would let them down easily and I even had some guys later like um who became friends who told me like yeah i remember like i met you at the bowling alley this is the time when you were like uh dating a year with ryan and you said no like i can't i can't have your number and so yeah like i was that type of girlfriend i was like no i have a boyfriend i'm happy and you know and so 2018 i was like i'm gonna date and not be in a relationship nothing nothing serious i just wanted to date and give these guys who like really 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 wanted to take me on a date just give them a chance i was like okay we go out for drinks whatever and you know just give them a chance and i got to know some people and um some people got i got to know a lot more better uh i'm 2018 i could say that i made really good friends actually because now currently i'm not dating anybody um i've just been working going home gymming like i i just chill to my i just chill by myself i keep to myself a lot um but yeah like i had i made really good friends at 2018 um but people always ask because i'm i'm really good at friends i'm really good friends at ryan still like though he treated me badly as a as a girlfriend and like he was really bad as a boyfriend like as a person he's great and he he does so much for me like if i was ever in trouble he would really come 
2 a.m. If I something happened, like something popped off, he would he would be right there and he would come come through and you know whatever it was that I needed, he would you know like I said he'd come through. And so we're good friends. Like today we went bowling and we just went as friends. Like that's a, that's the type of things we do because I always tell people that Ryan and I have a very solid foundation and so to be friends is easy because we never hated each other as people we just didn't work as a couple but to answer your question yes i am single i don't think anything of it like oh yeah i'm single like let's go out and or like i don't know i don't have that mindset anymore i like i'm single and i love it because i i don't, I don't have an int i don't have any interest to talk to anybody right now all i've been doing is just working going to the gym and you know just doing me and eating and doing this and yeah so i'm happy right now but to clear the air about ryan and i and i know ryan's watching this and you know he's not gonna get offended because we talk about this all the time we are not together but yes we are great friends and when i say friends like he's really my lifelong friend he is like my best friend like i said as a boyfriend he fucking sucks i know ryan you're watching this you suck as a boyfriend but as a person he is so good to me and so we still hang out and we go out, you know, we go out to eat or stuff like I just said. We went bowling like it's it's normal to us. We don't think anything of it. But I mean, I know a lot of people are confused. Like I just said, you guys broke up like we are. And, you know, we heart we actually don't hang out a lot. Maybe I might see him like once every two weeks or so, like just to catch up like regular friends, except he was an ex-boyfriend. And a lot of people don't understand that. But when you think about it that way, just catch it up. You just catch up every so often. And that's what we do. Anyways. So yeah, not really a story, more of a explanation to get to know you. By the way, Ryan also likes being single. I don't nag him about where he's at anymore. I don't, you know, try to see what he's doing 24-7. I don't worry about him. He doesn't worry about me. In the sense that worry that's like in a girlfriend and boyfriendly way. I worry about him, of course. Like I hope he makes it to work safely. I hope he's at home at night, you know, just to make sure he's safe. Like I genuinely care about him, but like, nothing like that. I do my thing on the weekend, he does his thing on the weekend. And I'm sure he loves being free too because having a girlfriend is really expensive. I can tell you that after we broke up, he started having extra money, like extra spending money after paying his bills. He had a lot of extra money. He has like two pairs of Yeezys now. He probably has like I don't know, five pairs of Jordans, all in the span of one year. And that might not be a lot to a lot of people, but for him, it, it's a lot to go shopping for himself. Cause when he was in a relationship with me, he never shopped for himself. He'd, you know, pay the bills and whatever I wanted, he got for me. He never really had time or like money to buy, to spoil himself. And now he does. And I fucking love that. I love that he spoils himself. Like last week I, I texted him to see where he was at because we were supposed to go to a funeral and he said he was at the mall at H&M shopping for himself. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, in a lot of ways, like, I'm not, 
I'm not happy that we broke up, but I am over it. I'm not sad either. There's no, no part of me is sad that we broke up. I'm really happy the way that we are now. I'm happy that the way that I am. I it used I used to cry every single night on the weekends because I couldn't sleep without him. That's how dependent I was on him. Like I would stay up till 7 a.m. until he got home just to go to sleep. That's that's why we always fought because I used to think that he's so selfish and inconsiderate. Now I feel like I found myself again. I'm independent and I could go to sleep whenever I want. Like I love I love Ryan to death, but I know in a relationship wise it never work out and I'd probably never really try to work it out with him again. And he knows that too. We got love for each other, but not in love with each other. Okay. I'm gonna go guys. I feel like I talk too much. One more bite. one more bite. Put the jalapeno right there. Hold on.